Imagine if you could build a beautiful sales funnel like this one here in just 10 minutes. And the craziest part is that you can build this sales funnel for free. Yes, that's right. There is a 100% free plan. It's free forever without any catches. To follow along with me in this tutorial, click the link in the description below and get access to system.io. You will land on a page that looks similar to this. Enter your email address and get my free account. In this tutorial, we will be using system.io to create sales funnels. Once you've got your free system.io account, you will log into the dashboard that looks similar to this. Make sure that you choose sales funnels at the top and then from here you can click the plus sign to create a new sales funnel. Here you can give a name to your sales funnel. I'm going to name mine Grow Confidence Course and then you can choose the goal of your funnel. You can choose any of them for the purposes of the tutorial today. I'm going to choose the sell purpose which will be to sell a product or service. You can also nominate a default currency for your course. I'm going to leave mine at US dollar. Let's click save. We've now got the funnel added to our active funnels. Let's click on it. And this is where you can configure the pages of your funnel. A typical sales funnel will have these pages, an opt-in page to collect the email addresses of the prospects, a thank you page to thank them for opting in, a sales page to sell the product and emails that are going to be sent out to the prospects to direct them to the sales page. There are many variations of sales funnels and if you'd like to build something slightly different then system can do it as well. So first of all, let's add an opt-in page and we're going to call this step opt-in page. Under type, of course, we're going to choose opt-in squeeze page. But here in the drop down, you can see the types of pages that you can easily create with system.io. There is a thank you page, inline form, pop-up form. There is an opt-in thank you page, inline form, pop-up form different types of sales pages, webinar pages, and other types of pages. We're going to choose squeeze page and let's click save. Now let's move our opt-in page to the top of our funnel. And we can now choose which template we'd like to apply to our opt-in page. There are tons and tons of templates. I'm going to choose this one, but you can of course choose any other one that you like. You can preview the template from here. This is looking pretty good to me. So I'm going to click select, give it a name and a URL path and we can click edit page to start editing our opt-in page. I'm going to customize it a little bit and I'm going to delete the stop section. Everything is click and edit. So I'm going to click on here to select the whole section and then click delete. And then I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to change the headline if my course is going to be about how to become more confident, then I'm going to offer a free report how to become more confident in seven days as an opt-in gift. On the right hand side, I'm going to say instant access below and then we've got the two fields to enter the name and email. You can make this as complicated and as beautiful as you would like because system really has got all of these elements here for you which you can duplicate, drag and drop and edit any way that you like. I'm going to keep my opt-in page simple. I'm just going to delete these elements that I don't want. Okay, so let's delete this one and let's delete these ones over here. Click delete and then I'm going to click and delete this other one as well. Now we've got this empty row which we no longer need so let's click on that and click delete as well and then you can delete all the sections below that you no longer want. So let's just click here, delete, click here, delete. All right now we've got a nice and clean opt-in page which I'm happy with so I'm going to click save changes. We can even preview it so let's click the preview button and you can see what it's going to look like once it's live on the internet. Let's close the editor using this button here and we've got the first page of our sales funnel sorted. Next let's add a sales page so we're going to click this button here to add a step. So this is opt-in page done let's now add a thank you page. To do that let's click this button add step. I'm going to call it opt-in thank you page and under type let's choose opt-in thank you page. Click save. Let's choose a template. This is the same family of the templates which we've just used so it makes sense to use it as well. Let's click select, give it a name and a URL and let's click edit. Our customers are going to see this after requesting a free report so we can customize this to match that. We can say your report is on the way, let's get rid of this header at the top which we no longer need. The idea is that we're going to be sending an email out to the customer to deliver the report. So let's mention this in this text just below. So I have said in the next two or three minutes you're going to receive an email with your report into your inbox. This is a little bit small so we can increase the size of the font. Just go here on the left hand side and you can use this slider to make it a little bit larger to make it more visible. Like this seems good. Best practice tells us that once we've got the customer on the thank you page it's a good opportunity to try and convert them into a sale right away. So let's add a little call to action. 
that will invite the customer to check out the sales page for our product right away. So let's duplicate this headline and let's move it down using this control over here. And let's now change this headline to entice the customer to check out our sales page right away. Something along the lines of want to know how to instantly impress others. We can also change this text to match this color. For that, let's select this text, then choose this color control, and then we can enter the color number into this box here. So that's our color number, and we've now got the color matched. Let's now put a button like this. So I'm just going to copy this button, drag this one up and drop it just below this headline. Let's now center this. So I'm going to click this center control. We can now make the font size a little bit larger. So perhaps something like this. Let's increase the line height to make this a little bit larger. And we can change what this button actually says. Look on the left hand side, it says see all project. So we're going to say yes, show me how like this to invite the visitors to click this button. Let's delete the other elements that we no longer want. So let's click on this section and click delete, confirm and continue like this with the other sections. There we go, we've got our thank you page ready to go. So we're going to hit save changes. We can preview it to see what it's going to look like. This is looking fine to me. And now we can click exit to deal with the next pages in your funnel. Let's drag the opt-in thank you page just below this quiz page because that's going to be the next logical step. And we now need to create our sales page. Going back to the funnel pages, let's click add step and add a sales page. We'll give it a name sales page under type. Let's choose sales page and click save. Once again, we can choose which template we would like to use. If you're trying to decide what your funnel should look like, or perhaps you don't know how to create a sales page, a good idea is to get some inspiration from other similar courses. So we can go to any YouTube channel or any other brand that is selling a product that's similar to ours. I'm going to use the Charisma On Command YouTube channel and you can see that they've got a link where they're selling their course, which perhaps is similar to the course that I want to launch. It's called Charisma University. And I can take a look at what kind of format works for them and what kind of copy works for them. So this is a very clean and simple type of sales page. And now it's given me a very good idea of what already is proven to work that I can implement as well on my sales page. So let's choose a sales page template that is similar to this sales page so that we can easily replicate the look and feel of it. You can go through all of these sales pages and you can click preview template to see how it looks, to see if it's going to work for you. This template here seems to have all of the elements that we require. It has a nice, simple, clean layout. It has headlines, it has a video, it has buttons. It also has the elements, which is just text. There are these sections that are colored in different colors. And we can find that here in our template as well towards the bottom. So we can easily reuse these elements to create a similar look and feel. So let's use this template. I'm going to click select. As before, let's give it a name and a URL and let's click edit page. Here you can now go through and implement the copy onto your sales page the way that you would like it laid out. I will show you a few of the basics, but I'm not going to bore you and create a whole sales page in front of you. So we can start out with a headline. So perhaps something like this, how I started commanding instant respect despite being a shy, quiet guy. And then you can have your little sub headline over here and you can have your sales video if you choose to have one just down below here. So we've got this text element. If you wanted to change the spacing to be more like this, you can do that through the properties on the left hand side. We've got this option here that says line height. So just change that until it's spaced the way that you want it to be spaced, perhaps like this. Let's just insert a few paragraphs of the copy. I've written them here in my own words. So I'm just going to paste that in. All right, and just like that, we've got the top part of our sales page ready to go. You can continue working like this and create your whole sales page. But for now, let's click save changes and let's preview it to see what it looks like. I think this is starting to look really, really good. This is the copy. This is the headline and this is the sales video that you can insert here once you've got it. And this is the buy button over here. All right, well, let's move our sales page up after the opt-in page and after the thank you page. So we've now got our sales page ready and good to go. If your course is hosted on a platform like Teachable, once you've got 
the course set up and ready to go, you will get a URL to your sales page on Teachable. You can grab that URL and link this buy button to that URL. So just click on here and then under the action when button clicked, you can choose it to open a URL and then you can insert the URL into here. Alternatively, you might be surprised, but you can actually have your course hosted on system. Just go to products and then click courses to open it. And you can actually create your course to be added inside your system account. Once again, it's free, zero dollars per month. There are no catches and you can have your whole course one course but the whole course hosted on system and it won't cost you anything so you can click this button to add a new course and then follow the steps to set up your course record the videos and then have it hosted within system.io and you will be able to add the link to your course onto this buy button so that your whole sales funnel is contained within system.io. Now, the last step of your funnel, emails. At the top of your system dashboard, you can go to emails and then click campaigns. Each of these campaigns can have more than one follow-up email, so you can create a new campaign specific to this course. We can call it grow your confidence. Let's click save. Let's now click inside this campaign and here we can add our emails. So first of all, let's go and create our first email. We can set up the subject of the email. We can say, thanks, here is your report because we promised to send the report to the customer. Send a name, you can enter your name here, enter your sender email address and let's click save. On this next page, you can enter the email content that you would like to send out in your first email. Here is a sample email and you can attach the link to your report here. So just highlight that and then click link and enter the URL where your report is hosted. And that's it, our first initial email is ready to go. So let's click save and publish. You will need to choose this option. So it says choose after which email to add this one. Well, we don't have any other emails. Delay before sending emails, zero days, zero hours and zero minutes. So we we'll want it to go out straight away. And let's now click activate. Now this email will be sent as soon as someone has opted in on our opt-in page. We can then create following emails that will sell our course. And to do that, we just click create. For that, we can use ChatGPT to generate the subject. We can give it this command. Something like this will do just fine. Let's click enter and there we go. ChatGPT is giving us potential subject lines for the emails. Become unstoppable with our confidence building program. Let's copy that. Okay, we can use that as our subject. Let's hit save. And for the body of the email, once again, you can write it yourself or you can give ChatGPT a command. So I'm just going to say, write me a promotional email selling this course, enter. There we go, we've had our email written. So let's just copy this whole email and we can now paste it into this email editor. All right, and our email is good to go. So we can now insert our link over here. So let's just make this bold. And this is where you will insert the link to your sales page. So just come back to your funnel and then where it says sales page, grab the link to your sales page over here. So just click that to copy it, highlight this and then click to add your link like this. Let's now click save and publish. Once again, we'll need to enter these details. So the email will go after this one. Thanks, here is your report. And we want it to go one day after the first email. Let's click activate and let's click exit. And our sales funnel is good to go. You can continue adding your emails to promote your course just by adding more and more emails into this list. Now you know how to create a sales funnel and it's only going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes to do following these steps. If you thought this was useful, please type in useful into the comments below. And now you're probably thinking, well, that's all fine, but how do I actually get the traffic into my sales funnel? So I've made this video for you that will show you how to drive unlimited free traffic to your sales funnel. Go ahead and watch that next. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Greg and I'll see you in the next video.